All right, I'm getting the Seastar S50 ready for tonight, and I'm going for the Cigar Galaxy. Uh, I don't want Bode's Galaxy in there, so I'm going to try to center it so it's not. Um, but I am going, I'm going to leave it out there all night, which is why I have it plugged in. I've got an extension cord out there. I'm going to, from what I can see before the clouds hit, I should get about seven hours of data on the Cigar Galaxy. And I'm going to get all the data I can, wake up around 3 o'clock before the clouds start moving in and try to uh, bring, bring in the telescope and stop it. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go set up the telescope outside, make sure everything's going good, and I'll, br I'll see you guys when I'm outside. Okay, so I forgot to uh, tell you guys that I, or show you guys when I brought the telescope outside, uh, but so far about we've got about 35 minutes exposure time. The satellites are really messing up the image. I've got so many satellites and I don't know why. Uh, I've, I've been imaging for a little over an hour and a half and I've ended up with about 35 minutes of data, uh, which is not a great ratio, but I'm going to end up a total of seven hours of imaging so with those, I, I should get some solid in, uh, some solid data. And I'm gonna wake up at 2.30 and I will show you guys uh, when I wake up. And tomorrow I'm gonna do a little image processing and see what I can get. Okay, so here's the Cigar Galaxy straight from the telescope with no editing done at all. Uh, about, I got a little over four and a quarter hours total, which I think, I think this is a pretty good image. There's a lot of green. Uh, but then I also switched over to uh, the Pinwheel Galaxy uh, for about 34 minutes at, at the end of the night. But I wanted to show you guys this before I go back to the uh, processed image. Um, and right here is the processed image of the Cigar Galaxy. I think it turned out really, really good. Uh, there's a lot of detail that you can see from just, the, from just about four hours exposure with the Sea Star. I think the Sea Star did a great job with this. Uh, it turned out amazing, and I'm really liking the colors. I tried to get as much of the red as I can out, uh, but all in all, I think it did amazing with this uh, target. I'm going to try to get some more targets uh, done when I get clear skies, because we're back to cloudy skies. Uh, but for 253 minutes, I think this turned out pretty good. Um, you guys tell me what you think, but I think, I think that's pretty darn good for a $500 telescope. Okay, so here I have the Seastar S50 back in its carrying case, and I just wanted to say, like, this carrying case, like, I can't emphasize enough how high quality this carrying case feels. It feels amazing. Super sturdy. Uh, these latches feel awesome. They feel super high quality. The tripod is actually quite heavy and feels of really good quality. Uh, the Seastar itself is amazing, as you can see from some of the images I've took. And for the end here, since I, I did a review on this, uh, just a short sweet, short and sweet review on the Seastar S50, but I'm going to include some other pictures I've had here in the end. Uh, but don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment on this video what you think of the Seastar S50 and the images I took. And I'll see you guys in the next video.